Okay, now we're going to go over the directions for the cumulative review on pages 211 and 212. So remember, this is open book, just like the way that we used to do them in class. So the first part is matching. <clears throat> they want you to match the proofreading symbol to its name, and that is from chapter two. So I did a little extra legwork for you, and I looked it up in chapter two, and if you want to write this down, it's on page 28. So you can put a little note up there at the top if you'd like, page 28. Part B, you need to fill in the circle next to the best answer. This is from chapter seven. It covers dictionaries, encyclopedias, almanacs, atlases, textbooks, and periodicals. So this is found in chapter seven on pages 123 through 130. So go ahead and look back in those pages when you get to that section so that you can refresh your memory about all of those concepts. Our next section is section C. And in section C, they're asking you to add commas where they're needed in these sentences. So again, they want you to use the correct proofreading mark and then put the comma under it. This comes from chapter three, and that is on page 55 and 56. On page 55, you'll find all the rules for using commas. Let's take a look at page 212. Part D, it says mark the two boxes that describe the underlined pronoun. So remember, you're looking to see if it is singular or plural, and then if it's the object of a preposition or it's the direct object. So remember, if it's a direct object, it follows an action verb. It receives the action from the verb. If it's the object of a preposition, it's part of a prepositional phrase. They did the first one for you, number 18. And if it helps you, go ahead and put parentheses around the prepositional phrase. You don't have to, but if that's helpful for you, go ahead and do that. So make sure you put a an X either under singular or plural, and then under object of the preposition or direct object. And those pages are 159 and 160. So you can go back and look at those pages to review that. The next part, part E, says to underline the pronoun and its antecedent, then draw an arrow from the pronoun to its antecedent. <clears throat> this is what we did in chapter nine, and it's on page 163 and 164. So you're looking for the pronoun that is renaming the subject. So in the first sentence, we'll do this one together. Brittany and Sue used sand dollars they had found for a craft. So what is the pronoun here? The pronoun is they. So we're going to underline they, and they is replacing Brittany and Sue. And then you're going to draw an arrow from the pronoun to its antecedent. So we're gonna kind of do a double whammy there. We've got Brittany and we've got Sue. All right, on the next part, part F, they want you to read the following selection and then fill in the outline on the note card and write the information about the source. So this is from chapter seven, where we learned about taking notes and it's on page 131 and 132. So you need to read this selection and then you fill in the note card so when we take a look at this we see that number one the main point is early years and then letter a is family so that's the first sub point 
and then they want you to fill in number one, and then they filled in number two. She was from a wealthy Quaker family. So you need to go back and look for the first detail when it's talking about her family that you could fill in there for number one. And then part B, there is no sub point. So if we look at number one, supporting detail, studied major academic subjects. So a clue for us there is academics. Academics have to learn, have to do with learning, right? So that might give you a clue as to what you should fill in as a sub point for letter B. And then you need to look for one more supporting detail that you can put under that sub point. Sub point C is spiritual awakening at age 18. And then there is no detail that you need to fill in there. I'm sorry, yeah. Okay, so then part two is her prison work. That's the next main point. And we just have three sub points. We don't have any details under those sub points. She taught women prisoners useful skills. And then just find two other sub points that you could add under that main point prison work. So two more things that she did while she was doing her prison work. And then the last thing that you need to do is put the information about the source. So if you look at the end of the selection, here's a really big hint. It tells you where this information came from. Okay, so everybody take a look at that. That's what you need to include at the bottom on that last line. And you can look in your book at page 131 and 132 from chapter seven. That's where it talks about taking notes. When you're finished with this, you can go ahead and tear out this page from your grammar book, put your name and number at the top, and then you can turn it in with any other work that you have from this week. So I hope that you have a great day rest of your day and just want to let you know that we miss you and we're praying for you and take care and God bless.